Nobody's mentioned where this list has originated from. So if somebody does know, please do mention. But Floyd Mayweather isn't happy of his ranking on some phantom welterweight list. Uh, admittedly, the list is a bit weird. Um, we have, we're talking all time. We've got Sugar Ray Leonard at one, which straight away to anyone who knows the boxing is gonna make them go. Where's Sugar Ray Robinson? Yeah, right, directly above him. No Robinson. Um, Manny Pacquiao's at number three. <laughs> What's interesting, though, is Mayweather's rationale, his annoyance, because, of course, as we all know, whether it was just to try and grab headlines, a few years ago, Floyd Mayweather placed himself at number one in a list that had the likes of Ali Robinson, Henry Armstrong and Roberto Duran. What's Mayweather saying here? They had Sugar Ray Leonard number one. Like I said before, he was the guy that paved the way for myself. He says that stuff all the time. <laughs> but how can you have a guy ranked number one when his first loss was to a lightweight, Roberto Duran? Well, Roberto Duran was the same height as Floyd Mayweather, 5'7", that we started a weight higher. But Duran fought bigger guys. Can you imagine... Floyd Mayweather agreeing to fight Marvin Hagler in 1983. It's highly unlikely against a guy who had physical, clear physical advantages. That was always one thing in Mayweather's career. Not trying to diss him because I think he was absolutely fantastic. But most of the time, he had his opponents for physical dimensions most of the time. Duran was really stumpy to fight Hagler and to know he'd have to get stuck in against him. That shows a different mindset. So Mayweather goes on to say, and then they talked about me facing Marquez, which was a catch weight of 144 pounds. But the same guy, Marquez, knocked out the number three guy, Pacquiao. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know what list this was. I wouldn't have Manny Pacquiao number three for all time rankings. Again, when he tried to justify his number one ranking on that list in terms of fighters of all time, he did bring in some things. He talked about, I've beaten more champions, blah de blah de blah There were some facts, but it was for my liking. It's what I'd call selective reasoning. Him trying to say that Leonard lost to a lightweight, we know how far up Duran went. He beat a huge middleweight in Iran Barkley. I couldn't imagine Floyd Mayweather agreeing to fight Iran Barkley in 89 after Barkley knocked out Thomas Hearns in 88 in three rounds. I just can't see it. I don't think it's not his mentality. Roberto Duran had a different mentality. Maybe a bit more talent. And that will be the difference when we remember these guys with greatness. You know, Mayweather is all always kind of going to be frowning, saying things against lists about when people talk about how great he's supposed to be, but it's partly because he never fully extended himself against guys who he was uh, easily the master of, like the likes of Robert Guerrero. There's so many fights looking back in the last part of Mayweather's career where he was the clear master of them, and he never really bothered to put his foot down on the gas because he always had one eye on that next fight and kind of wanted to preserve himself. But as fans, we can see that and we just go. It just always leaves a little bit of a sour taste. Is Sugar Ray Leonard a greater fighter than Floyd Mayweather? Yes. <laughs> Is Roberto Duran? Yes. I think these are things that, that can be thoroughly argued. And there wasn't even any Sugar Ray Robinson on this list apparently. So who the hell did write this list? But as usual, I think Mayweather's gripes are going to be repeated in the years to come for the rest of his life. He was an amazing fighter. He's arguably the fighter of this generation, whatever the generation is. But trying to have a go against the likes of the likes of a Duran or a Leonard, 
guys who did made moves in their career that I don't think Mayweather would have ever been willing to make. He just doesn't really have a leg to stand on.